Hey guys, welcome back to Fortnite. I'm back in it once more because there were two major announcements to the game if you did not see. The first one is the heavy shotgun and the second one is that there is going to be a replay system in the game. Now this was leaked a while ago, so people were like, okay, this is probably true that this is coming. We're going to be talking about that in today's video as well, but the heavy shotgun just came out and it's a new shotgun with increased range and guys, here's the thing. I looked for this today and I could not find it. So unfortunately, I don't have any gameplay for you, which is really sad because I love shotguns and I wanted to get my hands on this. I don't know, maybe I was playing the wrong mode or something like that, but I could not get a hold of it. And I played probably like maybe 10 matches, killed probably 20 people, nobody had one, and I couldn't find one. And I was playing like in Blitz, so I had like a greater chance of finding chests. I played in Solo, I couldn't find one. And so if you guys play with one and you feel it and you see what it's like and you know what it's like, let me know in the comments below also i mean if you haven't played with it let me know what you think about it what you think it's going to be like because here's the thing it's got increased range and people are thinking like okay they just made a shotgun to kind of fill a void because the pump okay i'm looking at a stat chart so chat stat chart okay so if these stats are wrong please forgive me this is somebody else's but i want to i just try to find a really quick resource okay so the uncommon pump is 66.5 DPS. The Epic Tactical Shotgun is 111, and then the Epic Heavy Shotgun is 73.5 and 77 for the Legendary version of the Heavy Shotgun. So that, uh, essentially the equivalent of uh, the Uncommon Pump has 95 damage, raw damage, Epic Tac has 74, Epic Heavy Shotgun has 73.5, so like 0.5 below with increased range, so that in my opinion, makes it better. Um, it looks like the fire rate, though, is a little slower. Uh, 1.5 versus 1. And so then uh, the raw damage of the legendary is 77. And so it seems like it's kind of in the middle of the road. And I'm curious to know what you guys think about that. Now, the other big major news was the replay system, which I do, I'm going to show you some clips from Twitch, from uh, GDC when they announced it. And then that way you guys can see for yourself what it's like, because it is freaking amazing. And I cannot believe the type of cinematic effects that you're going to be able to get in this game with the replay system. So let's get into those clips. Okay, so this video was a video that was released on at GDC for the replay system, and it is insane. You can see all kinds of different things. You can change, like, nameplates, showing nameplates. You can show uh, various different angles and speeds and, I think, even aperture. There's, like, all kinds of different things that you can do in, like, showing an entire battlefield and, like, watching, like, the plays and, like, figuring out what you did wrong or something like that or how somebody did something better or just making cinematic montages like this. It's just absolutely incredible and it looks so good and I cannot wait for this because it's going to add so much to people's videos potentially that it's really going to revolutionize the way that some people make videos because there are some really good uh, people who like really good editors out there and I cannot wait to see the types of things that they make with Fortnite. Now look if you see in this screen you can see how you can track easily there's a thing called drone follow which allows you to get like really nice up close shots of people walking across like this right here and like zooming in I mean there's all kinds of different things that you can do with this mode that allows you to get really good footage and I'm really curious to know what you guys think about this and if you think you'll use this maybe to like you know get better at the game or if you'll try to make some really awesome videos or something like that it just seems like this is something that I know I personally will like because I like taking screenshots and it's really I don't know where some people get <laughs> some of the screenshots and images from the character renders but maybe they've had access to this all along and it, if they have it makes sense to me uh, but either way I'm going to really enjoy getting some really nice like clips and up close images and things like that and I'm really curious to think hear what you guys think and how you will use it so here you see auto exposure aperture focal length auto focus there's a bunch of different things that you can do with how you set up the camera and like the aperture and I mean it's just it's actually pretty impress impre impressive and look at this focus distance too I totally forgot about this in the clip but like setting the focus distance so like blurring out backgrounds and stuff I, it's just incredible so guys once more, what do you think about this? What do you think about the new heavy shotgun? I'd love to hear your thoughts on it. It's a shorter video. I was really hoping I had some gameplay for you, but I spent a lot of time, and uh, unfortunately, I ran out of time before I have to go to work, and so... 
it is what it is. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video nonetheless. Love to hear your thoughts. Leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you guys are having a great day. You guys are enjoying the Fortnite content on the channel. Also, go check out the video from yesterday if you missed it with the C4 trolling because I don't think it was sent out to my subs to the notification boxes. So definitely go check that out as well. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you in the next one.